The medical examiner performed a fluorescence test on the scene and found a large amount of blood on the floor and confirmed that the blood was Lisa's. On the other hand, in order to thank the volunteers in the town, Nick once again gave a speech of thanks and reiterated that he and his wife are very affectionate, not what is circulating on the internet. Unexpectedly, the female neighbor walked out of the crowd and not only scolded her for being a beast, but also said that Lisa was pregnant before she disappeared, and even her parents-in-law suspected her of being a murderer. In the midst of everyone scolding, Nick could only flee in a hurry. Later, the policewoman interrogated Nick, took out Nick's consumption records, and found that he did not have a job, but often bought a large number of luxury goods, and had purchased a high accident insurance for his wife. Nick couldn't say anything but deny it. This behavior LED the police to suspect that he had a motive to kill, and since the body was not found, he did not have the right to arrest Nico for the time being. When the police left, Nick suddenly thought of something. He ran to the warehouse, opened the wooden door, and was stunned for a moment. It was filled with toys he had bought with his credit card. Nick understands that if the police find these things, then he will not be able to explain them. Nick also found a fifth anniversary gift from his wife in the warehouse, which contained a doll holding a child and a doll with a wooden stick, apparently indicating that he wanted to murder his wife. Nick knew he couldn't sit still any longer, and he approached a lawyer friend in the hope of getting help. However, after listening to his experience, his friends were full of praise, and he was even more impressed by Lisa's intelligence.